Okay, class, today we're in section 4.7 extension. Assess the fit of a model. 4.7 extension. Assess the fit of a model. Key vocabulary. Residual. Residual. Goal. Assess the fit of a linear model by plotting and analyzing residuals. You have found lines of fit using estimation and using linear regression. Most lines of fit do not pass through every data point, so you can look at the residuals to assess whether the model is a good fit for the data. Residuals. Given a set of data and a model, the difference between an actual value of the dependent variable y and the value predicted by a linear model y is called a residual. A residual plot is a scatter plot of points whose x values are those from the data set and whose y values are the corresponding residuals. Example 1. Calculate and interpret residuals. Cruise ships. The table shows data for several cruise ships. Is the equation y equals 4x minus 1500 a good model for the data? Alright, now here's our table. You see the length is our x values. Passenger capacity is our y values. Alright, so everything we're going to do now is going to be based on this table. And in particular, the y values in terms of how we determine those. Solution. Make a table showing the passenger capacities predicted by the equation. Then calculate the residuals. Okay, now let's make sure we understand how we got to make our table. Okay, when we make our table, we use the same values for x that were given in the initial table. Okay, now, so x values are here. Okay, now we have to determine the y value based on the equation. So our equation was y is equal to 4x minus 1500. So we're going to replace the x with the x values that are in the table. We're going to show you this by computing 1 all the way through. All right, so now the x value is 644. So my original equation was y is equal to 4x minus 1500. So now I got y is equal to 4 times 644 minus 1500. 4 times 644 is 2,576. 2,576 minus 1500 would give me 1,076, which is what we have right here. Now I have 1,072, but if you do the math, you'll see that it should be 1,076. All right, so that's how they got that value. So to get all these values right here, you must go through and put the x value in the equation. And you'll come out with the predicted value. Now, once again, the predicted value is based on the equation. Now, to find the residual value, it's going to be y minus y. So you're basically saying this y up here from the table, 1090, excuse me, 1090, that's from the, the table that was given to you, that is, not the one you determined it. So that's 1090 minus the value you just figured out. So it's 1090 minus 1076, which is going to be 14. That's where that 14 came from, and that becomes your residual value. So now the way they came up with a negative 114, they ended up saying 1,266 minus 1,380. All right, to get to, uh, 232, they had to say 1,748 minus 1,516. And then it continues on like that. Okay, now next we're going to plot the residuals on a residual plot. Plot the residuals on a residual plot. The equation y is equal to 4x minus 1,500 models the data somewhere. 
but appears to predict capacity better for shorter lengths than it does for larger lengths. Okay, now notice on this graph, when you make this graph, notice that the Y axis is here and is showing positive, zero, and negative. Notice that for the X axis, and see how that's in the middle, the X axis, they have a break to account for the, for the numbers that are missing up to about 500. All right, so this point right here is going to be uh, X is 644 and Y is 14. So that's 644, 14. The next point is 720 and a negative 114. So that's going to be uh, 720 about right there and then a negative 114. So that's in between there. All right, and then um, next is 754. All right, 754 is about like right here. And the Y value is about 232, so that's above 150 there. Okay, so that's how they look at the points right there when they plot the residual plot. Goodness of fit. If a line is a good fit for a set of data, the absolute values of the residuals are relatively small and are more or less evenly distributed above and below the X axis in a residual plot. Residuals that are mostly positive or mostly negative imply that the line is in the wrong place. Residuals that are steadily increasing suggest that the data is not linear, while widely scattered residuals suggest that the data might have relatively no correlation. Example 2. Calculate and interpret residuals. Safety. The table shows stopping distances for cars based on the speed being traveled. Is the equation y is equal to 7x minus 105 a good model for the data? So like in uh, example 1, they give us a table, they give us some x values and some y values, and then we must find the residual values. Solution. Create a residual plot. The curve in the residual suggests that a linear model may not be the best choice for this data, but for values of x between 20 and 80, this model appears to predict the actual values fairly well. All right, let's make sure you understand what's going on here. In order for them to make this residual plot, we had to do the same steps we did it in example one. So the first thing you gotta do is figure out the actual values based on the equation for the value of, of x. Once again, I'm going to take one value and show you. We're going to work with the number 20. So we're going to get y is equal to 7x minus 105. x is equal to 20. So 7 times 20 is 140. 140 minus 105 is 35. Now what you got to do is you got to take the y value from the table and then subtract the predicted y value which was 35. So 63 minus 35 is 28. So now that's what you're going to plot. So when x is 20, you're going to plot 28. And that's what they did here. When x is 20, they plotted 28. About right there. Everybody follow that? Now you got to do that for each and every point that's here. Now the reason they say that the graph is a, a good choice for the values between 20 and 80 it's because if you notice all these points are very close to the line to the x-axis all these points are very close to the x-axis once you start getting up here it's way out of line it's way out of line so right here is predicting pretty accurately based on the residual values okay now even going back to example one Notice what it's trying to tell you. It says the equation y is equal to 4x minus 1500 models the data somewhat, but appears to predict capacity better for shorter lengths than it does for the larger lengths. So all it's saying is when you plotted 644 and 14, when you plotted that, notice how close it was to the x-axis. See how close that point is? And notice that for the shorter lengths, 
the points seem to stay pretty close to the line. But the bigger lengths tend to get away from the line, tend to get away, right? Which make them less accurate. So in this is then what they're telling you is that when you look at residuals, the closer your points are to the line, the more it represents the equation, the more accurate it's going to be. So the closer your points are to the line, the more accurate it's going to be.